Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain how to implement the uh, C program for uh, finding inverse of a matrix. So, inverse of matrix. So, this is our program. So, here it is, uh, this is a single dimensional mean. Uh, single line comment so here I'm using two backslashes so here it is my header file so hash include stdio.h which is of my header file and this is my main function so in that main function so before I'm going to implement my logic I have to declare all my variables which I required for my program so this is an array of type integer which can hold maximum of nine elements and this is a two dimensional array of size t by 3 so now this i and j are two variables which I can use in my for loop. So for finding inverse of a matrix, so we have to use a formula that is 1 by debt is multiplied with your adjacent of matrix. So for that I can uh, take one more variable of type floating point, so uh, which is named as determinant. So initially I will take in with a 0 value. So now I am asked the user, uh, that is I prompting the user for enter uh, 3 by 3 matrix elements. So this is your string constants, you can write anything, so that will be displayed on your screen, right. So this is I am asking uh, enter the 3 by 3 elements of a matrix, so I can use my for loop. So here I have only a single uh, statement so that I cannot use any flag braces here. Uh, so i0 i less than 3 i plus plus and j0 j less than 3 j plus plus. So it will take indexes like 0 0 0 1 0 2 1 0 1 1 1 2 2 0 2 1 2 2 like that it will access 9 elements. So by using this kind of statement. And after that I am trying to print uh, the matrix which I read from my keyboard. So simply I can uh, take a printf statement like the matrix is. So again I am using two for loops and here I am using backslash n because I want to uh, display these values as a matrix representation. So for each and every row after completion I want to take the next row values in a next line. So because of that I am using this backslash n. So before my j loop and after my i loop. So this is, uh, these are the lines of code which I am going to display my matrix. So, and after that, so here I want to implement inverse of a matrix. For that I am using, I mean, first of all I need to find the determinant value. So how we are finding the determinant value? So we can, uh, mean, uh, suppose for example, if you want to find the first uh, uh, row first column value, how we can do that? So first you have to uh, close your first row and first column, then you can find AD minus BC. And you can multiply it with the 0, 0, 0th element with that. So and like that we have to find all your uh, values. So and that value it can given by your determinant. So I will show you uh, with a notepad how this logic will work. So see here simply how this loop will run and it will find your determinant value. I will try to show you. Okay. So see uh, this is a for loop is given for you. So now your i value is initially 0. So your i is initially 0 and then your 0 is less than 3 condition is true. So now it is trying to find your determinant value. So I can take simply as that. So now you are taking determinant plus. So what is your a of 0? So now it is simply a of 0 and your i value is also 0 here. So that it will take a of 0 at 0th position and it is try to multiply it with the combination of AD minus BC. So AD minus BC means which positions it will take. So we will see uh, that is simply so what your logic will say you can take A of 1 I plus 1 mod of 3. So A of 1 is nothing but A of 1 and then you can take the next index as I plus 1 that is 0 plus 1 mod 3. So 1 mod 3 is nothing but 1. So it will take 1 1 position element. Okay, in 3 by 3, it will take 1 by 1 1 position element and it will take another position element that is uh, it multiplied with um, mean A of 2 and the next value is taken as I plus 2 mod 3 that is 0 plus 2 mod 3 is nothing but 2. So, it will take 2 2, two position element. Right. So, it will take A11 position and A22 position element and it subtracted and then it will take A of 1 
and i plus 2 that is 2 mod of 3 because i value is 0 here. So now 2 mod 3 is nothing but it will take value as 2. So and then this value is multiplied with so next values is given as a of 2 and then that value uh, ne next index it will be taken as i plus 1. So 0 plus 1 more 3 that is 1 more 3 that is 1 1. So now you find of that. So this position means a of 0 0 position is multiplied with the product of these production mean uh, the product and subtraction of these two means a of 1 1 and a of 2 2 position values is multiplied and a of 1 2 and 2 1 position values is multiplied that is nothing but a d minus b c. So now these terms is multiplied and subtracted and that value is multiplied with a of 0, 0 position. That is the first row, first column position value. And now this value is uh, taken in your determinant because uh, so now you have taken this value to calculate your determinant. So initial determinant value is 0. So now it will take 0 plus and this entire product it will be taken. So that value you are finding as the initial debt value. Right, so that value you are taken initial debt value. So now uh, this initial debt value, suppose for example, see here. So now it will take debt one, suppose. So which is taken as your debt with uh, the product of all these things. And after that your uh, I value it get increment. It will take I position as one. Right, so now uh, I position as. 1. So now you can substitute in this a of 0, i is 1. Now it will take a of 0, 1 position element. Right? Multiplied with a of 1. i is 1. Now 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 mod of 3 is 1, 2 position element. Now a of 1, 2 position multiplied with a of 2, 0 position. Because see, i is 1 now. So i 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 mod of 3 is 0. So now in that way it will take a of 0, 1 multiplied with a of uh, 1, 2 multiplied with a of 2, 0 minus and a of 1 and this is 0 because uh, 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 mod of 3 is 0. a of 1, 0 multiplied with a of 2 and this value is 2. Okay, in that way again it will take the product. Okay, so the corresponding positions and it will make you like ad minus bc again and it will product with the a of 0, 1 position element. Okay, so you can close your uh, second row and second column. Okay, so like that. And now again your i value get increments, it will become 2. So in that way it will take like, uh, okay, so it will take a of 0, 2 multiplied with a of 1. So this is 0 because uh, i value is 2, right? 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 mod of 3 is 0. And then a of 2. 4 mod of 3 is nothing but 1. So a of 2, 1 position element it will take minus a of 1 and this is also 1 because 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 mod of 3 is 1. And here a of 2 and this value becomes 3 mod of 3 that is 0, a of 2, 0 position element. So in that way it will get the this determinant value and all these determinant values is, will be added. We are get finally that final determinant value. So, after you are finding the debt value, so here also i increments and it becomes 3, 3 less than 3 condition fails. Now, it uh, exit from your for loop. So, at last it will hold the last determinant value and after that you are trying to find your inverse of a matrix. So, now here in this logic you are going to take your determinant, uh, mean your adjacent matrix value, means your, you have to find your adjacent matrix. So, I already said how this logic will work. So, simply you can take i and j. So, j loop will get, uh, mean, uh, terminated, then only your i get increments. Okay. So, you can substitute the values of uh, i and j. So, you are getting uh, your 3 by 3 positions of your adjacent matrix values. And now you can divide with your determinant. So, in previous iteration, you are finding the final determinant and that value is uh, mean divided with the, the corresponding element of your adjacent position of a matrix. And finally, uh, it will uh, print that value also because uh, this logic will be written directly in a printf statement. So, and after that, uh, you have to take the next, uh, mean, next line. Okay. Uh, to display the elements. 
Okay, so for that uh, you are finding uh, inverse of a matrix. So I'll try to execute this program. So I'll compile and run this. So now it will ask me like enter the 3 by 3 elements of a matrix. So 3 by 3 is nothing but you have 3 rows and each and every row will consist in 3 columns. So I'll give the values like that. 1, 4, 5. So this is my first row and I will click on enter and I will provide my second row values that is 1, 5, 4 and I will take my third row values as 2, 5 and 7. So see you can simply give a space otherwise it cannot recognize as 3 different values. So it will take in as a single value. So now click on enter. So see this is your matrix. So your first row is 1, 4, 5 and your second row is 1, 5, 7, 4 and your third row is 2, 5, 7. And this is your inverse of a matrix. So how are you getting this inverse of a matrix? Simply we are finding your determinant value and then you are finding the adjacent matrix. Okay, so by simply using the below for loop and then each and every adjacent uh, corresponding position of element it can be divided with your debt value and it will give this position. You can take any of uh, uh, values for your 3 by 3 and you can find of your inverse of a matrix. Thank you.